Hey, welcome back to my channel, LNL Honeycomb Homestead. And I'm sorry about the video that I had posted up before, which was the live video on how to plant or sow your store-bought fruit seeds in containers like these little cups. Um, what you would need to do is get you some, some type of fruits, any kind of fruits that Anything that you like, or if you want to just get a whole bunch of them, that's fine as well. But what I did personally, you can get two apples, one of each kind, you know, get two of them, and you get the same name brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I mean by like that is like, okay, I had a gala apple. You get you one gala apple or get two of those gala apples. That way you have a lot of seeds. Get you two of those, you know, uh, pears. Get you two pears. Get you a handful of grapes. Um, get you some peaches, plums, anything if you want to be grown out there in your garden, such as if you want to have an orchard. I want to have an orchard, so I want to have a variety of all different type of fruits. So what I did get... I do not like apples, but I got some apples because I know people who like apples. And if I want to sell some apples, then I have these type of apples. So I had in this container, I'm going to give you a prime example. In that container that I had, I had some um, seeds in there. And what I did was put a napkin off inside. I put a napkin inside and put the seeds off in there. Then I misted it with water and then folded it over, misted it again. You don't want it to be soaking wet. And there, put the lid back on top. Label it, and that way you'll know exactly what day you had it in there. So the Honeycrisp apples that I had was 1217. On 1217, I had those crisp apples seeds in there. Today is the 20th. You could wait a little longer if you want to, but these germinated pretty good. That's the whole purpose of misting that napkin, putting that lid on there, and let it sit for a few days. If you want to let it sit for a week or two, you can do that. But I let mine sit for three days in here. I was checking periodically because I wanted to make sure that the napkin inside here was uh, moist, not wringing wet. None of that. Just get it where it's kind of wet that is going to wet the seeds. And check it periodically because it might dry out. You don't want it to dry out. You want to keep that kind of moist. What that does is after you put the top on here, it's going to make this sweat because that's going to be your miniature greenhouse. You're gonna, it's going to make it sweat and it's going to germinate those seeds and they're going to start having little roots come from it. And three days, y'all. Let's see, 18, 19, yeah, three days. You see the date on it, 12, 17. It's upside down, probably on your side. But for three days, I had all those seeds sprout roots. So what I did was I made me up a cup, put some soil in there. I had six of those Honeycrisp seeds, and I put them all in here, and they all had roots. All of them had roots. And what I did on, after that, I had to plant it in there and covered up the holes. I cut me some slits, two of them, nice size slits, because you want them to be drainage holes. You take another cup, put you some stones in there, marbles, whatever you have, and stick that off in there. That's going to leave some room at the bottom, as you can see, because of those rocks. When you go to watering your seeds, in your cup, that water is going to drain. But you won't have to do it right off if you got your soil and everything. If you got your mixture of your soil good and moist, you don't have to water it for a minute anyway. So that's what I did. It's good and moist. I don't have to water it again. Good and moist. And But what I'm saying is when it does start to dry, get dry, water it. The water will drop down here. As it's coming down here, just leave it as is because your soil and all that good stuff that's in there 
it's going to suck up that water when needed. It's going to water your plant. So you won't, so that way you won't have to overwater it, underwater it, or anything like that. It's going to do it on its own. After you do all that, get you one of these Ziploc bags from Dollar Tree. Everything I got here is from Dollar Tree. You're going to take this because it's going to be a miniature greenhouse. You're going to take that and you're going to cover that cup up. And if I hadn't said it already, but the cup that was right above it, you want to put the piece of tape here and you want to put the date on there. Today's 12-20. That's where I'm going to start counting the days until it gets ready to sprout. You're going to keep them days because that's what's going to keep up. You're going to keep up on how old your plant is. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you ain't going to know how old it is. And you don't want to do that. So, after you get that Ziploc bag on there, it's going to be your miniature greenhouse. Go ahead and squeeze the sides if you can. You know, get them in there. Squeeze the sides because it will close it up on a, right here on the corners. And there you have it. Now, I did a whole lot of them like that, y'all. And um, I have some pear trees. Seeds. I got some pear seeds. I have some more grape seeds. I have already had a grape vine and I already had me some blueberry bushes. Um, I got them off of Clarence at Lowe's. I went on and got them. But when it started getting kind of pricey, when you can't afford buying those trees and you can't have the money and you don't have the money to be ordering them online, this is another way in going about it. You, you know, you could plant so many of them. You could plant a whole lot of them, a lot of seeds, because one of them is going to eventually germinate if you do it in that order that I showed you. If you do it in that order that I showed you, then you'll see those roots coming from those seeds. You'll know what germinated and what didn't germinate. And then from there, that's when you plant it in your soil. And then from there, you just you go from there, just watch it. Until then... I will be showing some more videos, and you do the same. Have a Merry Christmas, and hope to see you soon. This is LNL Honeycomb Homestead. I'm Lovey, and have a great day. Bye.